the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission continues to oppose uh, the amendments that uh, were introduced to the Conflict of Interest Bill by the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. This is uh, a proposed legislation that concerns county governments as well and that is the reason why the Conflict of Interest Bill was sent to the Senate by the National Assembly for uh, consideration and when the bill went there the Senate mutilated that bill and introduced several uh, provisions that are going to cripple the fight against corruption if the bill is proposed in the manner suggested. That bill has now been uh, taken back to the National Assembly for consideration and the ESEC has already written to the National Assembly cautioning that uh, the amendments that were introduced by the Senate are inimical to public accountability and they are going to negate the, uh, the gains that the country has gained so far in the fight against corruption. ESEC uh, is concerned that the Senate of the Republic of Kenya deleted uh, provisions that were aimed at ensuring accountability in the management of public funds. In particular, the Senate introduced a clause in that bill that seeks to repeal the current uh, provision under the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, which makes conflict of interest a criminal offense. By decriminalizing conflict of interest, what Senate means is that henceforth, every governor, every cabinet secretary, and every other official in the government can trade directly with the government and that is the officer themselves, their spouses, children, and immediate family members. That is a dangerous uh, position. And uh, today, most of the corruption cases that ESCC is investigating, and most of the people that are in court today are due to conflict of interest. Therefore, those amendments are not good for the fight against corruption and the ESEC expects the National Assembly to reject the amendments that were proposed by the Senate to that bill. If those amendments are allowed to become law, it means that uh, the provision that required the suspension of persons under investigations will be gone. That means that uh, the challenges that we have today of investigating people while they remain in office will still be there. When you investigate a person while they are in office and they have power to influence or interfere with the integrity of the investigation, that remains a big challenge. And that is why the bill proposed to have persons under investigations suspended until they are cleared. But that provision has been deleted by the Senate. And that is a bill by Bere North MP that seeks to decriminalize procurement offenses. In that bill, the sponsor argues that uh, corruption cases arising from procurement should be dealt with through administrative action. That is a very dangerous proposal. Over 90% of mega corruption scandals in this country are procurement related. So what we need is uh, to strengthen the sanctions, to enhance the punishment, but not to substitute criminal sanctions with administrative action as proposed by the Honorable Ruku in his bill. We urge him to consider withdrawing that bill because if it becomes law, it will uh, severely affect the fight against corruption and uh, cripple the f efforts that have been made in that regard.